The Republican candidate for Indiana's 9th Congressional District, Trey Hollingsworth, is defending himself against an Associated Press report. The report states the 33-year-old executive filed papers in five states that legally obligate him to live outside Indiana in order to represent his company's interests. His signatures were on them, but it's simply a case of his name was put in the wrong box on the form. And so it's not him declaring residency in these states. Trey's a proud Hoosier. Democrat Shelley Yoder is running against Hollingsworth. We've known all along that Trey Hollingsworth only moved to Indiana a year ago to run for Congress. Since then, he has been unwilling to answer questions surrounding his previous places of residence. The report goes on to say as a registered agent for Hollingsworth Capital Partners, Hollingsworth is simultaneously required to live in Virginia, North and South Carolina, Georgia and Ohio so that legal papers can be served. And I would imagine if it's his name, he's signing those papers. So it's hard for me to imagine that in I think it's five different states, the same the staff person has made the same error. The Hollingsworth campaign says this is an error and the mistakes were made by an employee who is no longer with the company. They did some research and saw that a staff member no longer with HCP had uh, incorrectly filled out some documents and sent them off to some states. We immediately amended those documents and sent them back to the respective states and uh, we look forward to those records being updated here in the coming days. And in at least two of those states, it is a misdemeanor crime to submit a false document. However, Hollingsworth's campaign tells me they hope to have the issue resolved by the end of the week. I'm Gianna Caserta, WLKY News.